On the payroll, can't be hanging with the same bros We don't even go to the same show So please be quiet, I'm being polite Get it crazy, oh, you ain't on the payroll Can't be hanging with the same bros We don't even go to the same show So please be quiet, I'm being polite Hello guys and girls and welcome back. It's Big John here, the app's at the bottom of the screen if you'd like to listen to my music. So is all the relevant information I'll be speaking about in this video. And today, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a manual Fibonacci tool on your MT4 phone application on XAU USD. That's right, I'm going to be showing you how to get some game on your phone. So let's get straight into the video. Okay, so I'm on my chart at the moment. I'm on XAU USD, as you can see right here. I am currently on a four hour chart right now, and I have my TDI tool down here right at the bottom as well. So this is the only indicator I'm actually using at the moment is my TDI tool. This is all I'm using down here. With my TDI tool, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be gaining entry for trades with that tool. If you'd like to get the TDI, then there's a PDF in my Discord. You can just go into my Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description and underneath the indicator section, there is a PDF there. I will show a video clip of that as well where it is. What I'm gonna be doing next, I'm gonna tap my screen. I'm gonna wait for this circle to appear. I'm gonna make sure I go to the square, the triangle and the circle. I'm gonna click on that button. I'm going to click here on the plus. And then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for the Fibonacci retracement. Now, when I've got the Fibonacci retracement, because I can see gold has bought up and then sold down, as you can see here, gold has bought up and sold down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find a placement of a swing high to a swing low. Fibonacci tool on the chart, as you can see right here. I'm just putting it here, right to the swing low. I'm just going to make sure it's even. So I'm going to go to the swing high, just up here. Get this right about up here as well. And right about there is perfect for me. So you can see I've made it go from the swing low to the swing high right here. And this is giving me a great view on where I can see where price might go to next. Now, this is going to help you find key levels in the market. You're going to see over time how I'm always explaining trade gold off of key levels. So I've gone to a H4 chart here. I've just drawn my Fibonacci. The reason I'm using a H4 chart here is because if you try and draw this Fibonacci on a 15 minute chart, you won't be able to draw it out from a proper swing high to a swing low. So it's just better if you do it on a higher time frame so you can actually see what you're doing. I'm gonna go down to my 15 minute chart. Gold came in today from Asian session, sold low, touched the level on the Fibonacci, bought back up, came back through, to break through this level but it was a fake out as we see it did buy up later and then gold obviously did buy up for the rest of the day so i'm going to break down how you would have been able to catch a better entry into this trade without being worried about gold actually breaking this level and stuff like that the level that gold actually did stop on was the 61.8 as you can see here on the fibonacci i've explained this in my previous video there will be a link in the top right here for that video and it shows you that the 61.8 the 50 and the 38.2 are what we like to call the golden zone in the fibonacci so price will most times react to this area here so going back into the 15 minute chart it's very very simple to set up i like to go through things very slowly so people can understand clearly what's happening here i'm going to press the screen on my phone again and i'm going to go to this tool again here the object and i'm going to go to plus and then I'm going to get my rectangle tool. So I'm going to just draw a box out here and I'm going to explain why I'm drawing this box out here. I'm just going to make it clear. I'm also going to click on that box and I'm going to change the color to green. Pixels four, so I can see it. So it shows me that this is now what I would like to call a support level. Now, the reason I drew the box like this, of course, when price broke through here the first time, I would have seen that price has now stopped at this level once. I'm not gonna try and just trade a buy straight away off of this zone. It wouldn't make no sense. It would make no sense for me to just trade a buy off this zone. I need to see price stop. I already know this is a key level here as I've drawn my Fibonacci. Then I've seen price come to here stop and then the TDI even crossed here. 
and went up. You see, the problem people have with the TDI method that I taught in my first video is people just try and trade this TDI entry right here and say, oh, John, it went up a bit, but then it pulled back. It didn't give me the pips. Obviously, this one would have made you win, but that's not it. Look at what's happening here. And like I said, I teach a lot more of this in my mentorship, all of this type of stuff. So you can see right now that the market went down once. Yeah, the TDI crossed once. Now, that's when I would have put my box there. And that's why I made my box this big. I've just put it there so you can see the whole box, but that's why I would have put it there and made it this wide, the box. Now we can see we're patient. We see prices gone here again. We see prices gone down again one more time. If we're looking to find and see if price is gonna break lower, we want it to break lower than this area right here. But we haven't seen this yet. We've seen price go up here. We've seen the TDI cross here. We've seen price go back down here one more time. And then what the next thing we've seen, we've seen a TDI cross right here. Yeah, this TDI cross is indicating a second leg of a W. If you watch my TDI video, it explains in there what's actually happening when the TDI performs this move. Look at what's happening here. The TDI is coming from the top. It's come down. It's gone through the middle Bollinger Band, which is the sentiment line. Should be yellow, but for some reason it's just not working on my phone at the moment. I don't know why, but it will be yellow. It doesn't matter if it's blue or yellow. It's still the sentiment line, the middle Bollinger. As you can see right now, it's gone through the middle Bollinger Band. It's gone back through like it's tying a knot. And then when it crossed over here for a bullish crossover, the TDI, yep, yeah, that's when price did what? Price bought all the way up. Now, that's not going to happen every single time it happens, but this is your confluence. If you see it, you take the trade. If you lose, you lose. If you win, you win. You know, if, as long as it wins more than it loses, that's all you need. But once again, we've seen that we're on a major level here of support. We've drawn our support level. We've changed it green for a buy trigger zone. Yep. And then we've seen that price has gone down once. This is why the box is this wide. Then it's come back up. See how it tested this level again. You would have thought maybe it's going to be a resistance. This level right here. Tested this level one more time. Rejected off this level. Yeah. But what did it not do? It never broke the low of this previous level of support. So then when we saw the TDI cross bullish here again, we'll say, okay, you know what? We're going to take this one here and our stop loss would have just been just below this area here. This is all you need because if it broke this level here, you don't want to be in that trade no more. You put your stop loss just below here, you enter the trade and then you look to take your pips as you go along. You use your own risk management in order to know when to come out of this trade and to take your profits from this trade. But another key is when the TDI crosses on the 15 minute chart, bearish, which it crossed here. So you realistically, using just the TDI alone, would not have come out of this trade until all the way up here, which was a lot of pips. This was a good, good trade. You're not always gonna get clean trades like this, but that was a good trade. We can see gold has stopped up here. I'm gonna tap my screen again. I'm gonna go over to objects. I'm gonna draw another rectangle right here. Right here, yep. Yeah. But this time, what I'm gonna do with this one, I'm gonna change this one red. If you know a bit about Forex, you know why I'm doing this. Now, this is my resistance zone. So within my key levels, as you can see right here and here, I have another level right here, which isn't a key level, but it's still a level of resistance. As we see, the market has bought up to this level and stopped. So the next thing I'm gonna do, clear as day, is I'm gonna draw one more box right here. And I'm gonna turn this one green. Now, once again, you can see everything unfolding here for you now. Now we're starting to see structure in the market. So if you wanna learn more on how I do all of this and stuff like that, like I've said previously, hit me up in the Discord, join the mentorship. I'm telling you, you won't be left out. I'm always saying this every single time in my videos, not because I'm trying to just say, come join, let me take money. I'm telling you because a lot of people in my Discord lose money before they come to me. We're talking thousands of dollars they're losing because they just don't wanna put that extra time to say, you know what, let me get some sort of 
knowledge from someone else it doesn't have to be me you can go and learn this from someone else you know i'm not saying you should come to me but if you do come to the discord and you want help hit me up it's very very competitive rates hit me up man <laughs> hit me up and get some of this knowledge you know what i mean so anyway we can see once again price has gone here price has gone right here broke through this zone touched this resistance and what's price doing right now this is all why the current market's moving you can see it's reacting here so if we was to look for another sell on this pair we would want to know if the market's going to respect this resistance zone right here so i just go here and i just make this longer for me so now i'm just waiting to see if price is going to respect this zone if it respects this zone and i see a tdi cross like this goes through the sentiment line comes back up again and crosses over bearish like this right here then i might be seeing another sell happening right there So let's even go to the previous call out that I called. Yeah. So when we go to a four hour chart, we'll just do it here just so it's better for you. You can see right now. So I've drawn a massive zone right now, a massive level of some type of resistance. Let me just change the color, change this to red. I've drawn a massive level of resistance here. So this trade here is what I actually called out for people in the group. I'll show the evidence of this at the end of this video. And it was a funding talent account. And in future, I will be making videos on these funding talent accounts. So it was like a FTMO style account, but it's called funding talent. It was a 100K account. And I was able to catch this trade going down here for thousands of dollars. Reason I was able to catch this trade once again look the market hit this level once came all the way down then the market went to this level one more time again and i was telling all my students all the people in the general group in my discord as well i was telling them i'm not touching gold until it touches 1750 1750 it did go to 1755 which is fair but i said i'm not touching it till it gets to 1750 everybody probably thought ah you're being too long you're waiting too long john there's pips john there's pips pips every day i don't care if there's pips every day i don't want to touch gold until it goes to somewhere decent for me and somewhere decent for me was this level of resistance here when it got here then i put in my cell and i was able to catch this cell all the way down and i held this cell for about two or three days simple as and then once again now it's got to where the 61.8 as we would have drawn our fib out and we would have seen that oh it could possibly stop here there you go and then it did do what it pulled back with the news and bought simple as yeah i think that sums it up for this video if you'd like to get into my discord just hit the link below please like comment share subscribe going forward i'm going to be doing a lot more things competitions i'm going to be doing and stuff like that uh one of the more active members in my discord his name is lee he was able to get a week's mentorship from myself because he's ranking quite high in my server list i've got a bot a me bot that ranks you like the other discords have and um yeah he's been added to the community so that was like a giveaway i've done uh, there's going to be other giveaways as well there's going to be cash giveaways there's going to be competitions of funding accounts there's going to be stuff like that of course i'm not going to say it's all going to happen today but it's going to be happening over time as i grow bigger and bigger so please support the channel please follow like share subscribe and let's get these pips man let's get these pips yeah <laughs> let's go